Since the Landmark's recent renovation, they've invited local artists and small businesses to showcase themselves in the bay windows surrounding the building. The flagship securities building was built in 1896. It is a three-story building built by architect Albert L. Brockway. It was the first steel-framed building in the entire downtown Syracuse area, making it the perfect structure for a three-story window, the only of its kind. In fact, it was delivered here along the Erie Canal. This segment is brought to you by Eureka Crafts, located at 210 Walton Street in Omri Square. Specializing in handmade treasures made exclusively by American artists. Fans of trivia might be interested in the fact that the first drive through establishment was not a restaurant, but rather a bank. The first drive through was at City Center Bank in Syracuse, New York, and was created in 1928 for the convenience of the bank customers. George Spence and Fred Bell collaborated out of the Spence, Bell & Company studio in Boston's North End at the turn of the century until 1916. They created magnificent geometric stained glass windows that were primarily institutional commissions including many churches in Maine and all of the glorious windows at the Rollstone Congregational Church in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Fortunately, stained glass aficionados need not travel far to appreciate some beautiful examples of their work. Located on Summit Avenue in Syracuse's beautiful Strathmore neighborhood, the W.C. Light Mansion has one of the largest collections of Spence, Bell & Co. windows in the entire country. They were commissioned by famous local architect Archimedes Russell as a wedding gift. A gift from Willard C. Light to his new wife nearly 110 years ago. There are 14 windows in total, including the main entrance, doors, and side lights. You can learn more about the W.C. Light Mansion and the magnificent history of the Strathmore neighborhood at this year's Art on the Porches event, Father's Day weekend.